Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Token Post interview. Today we have invited Mr. Jang, the CFO of Content Box. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> so, Mr. Jang, could you give an introduction about yourself and how you got into the crypto world? Uh, yeah, my name is Calvin Jang, and uh, I'm the CFO of Content Box. I um, I joined Castbox, which is actually our application, um, a little bit ago, and I got into crypto because it just seems like such an exciting new new world. I just wanted to learn more about it. <laughs> Very simply. So, what were you doing previous to this uh, position? Uh, I was uh, I was kind of a finance guy, so uh -huh. I did a lot of uh, investor relations. I worked for a bunch of Chinese TMT companies, mm -hmm. uh, including China Music Corporation. They got acquired by Tencent Music, mm -hmm. and Twenty One Vnet. It's also a Nasdaq listed company. Oh, wow. yeah. So. Castbox, it's the root uh, application in your company, is it? Yes. So can you yes. give a little bit about, can you explain a little bit about what Castbox is? Yeah, sure. Uh, Castbox is a leading uh, podcast platform. So we already have 16 million users. Uh, that's, uh, <laughs> that's one of the biggest advantages, yeah. <laughs> um, we have over 50 million of audio content. Mm -hmm. We're backed by some of the most uh, renowned VC firms. Mm -hmm. So IDG, SIG, Jin Fund, Qiming, these are all very top tier level investors. Mm -hmm. um, so we were founded in 2016. We've already completed four fundraising rounds. So being aside from CastBox, what is ContentBox and how will it be implemented to the existing app of CastBox? That's a great question. So uh, ContentBox, the reason we came up with this idea was we started thinking about how content creators monetize. And they have a lot of difficulty in all digital content. So if you think about like YouTube, for example, uh, YouTube takes a huge cut out of all of content creators, you yes. know, money. I'm sure you're very familiar with that. Yes, yes. So we think that creators should be monetized better. Mm -hmm. We also think that users should be rewarded. So mm -hmm. users, when they share something, they like something, they comment, they report spam. These are all actions that take time, and time is very limited. Mm -hmm. It's a very valuable resource. So we think they should be able to be rewarded for this as well. Mm -hmm. So in terms of CastBox, we're going to start rolling out all our token-based economy with CastBox first. Mm -hmm. So for example, if I'm a podcaster, um, you can donate box tokens to our podcast directly, or maybe I can create some exclusive content, and then you can also earn box tokens that way. Every time my content is played, mm -hmm. you can earn box tokens. And so from the user side, if I'm listening to podcasts, I can earn tokens, or if I share or like something, I can earn tokens as well. So being a content sharing platform, it seems that your biggest competition may be Steemit. So how does any, are there any independent traits or maybe specialties that your platform has that will show competition in the media market? Yeah, uh, Steam, we think, is a great blockchain project. Um, I think the difference between what we're doing and what Steam is doing is that Steam is very niche. Mm -hmm. They are focused more on bloggers and the social uh, social network. Mm -hmm. Whereas for us, we think uh, Content Box is more at the infrastructure layer, and CastBox will be an application on top of Content Box. Mm -hmm. And in this example, Steam would be another application mm -hmm. on top of Content Box. Mm -hmm. So that's a big difference. We we aren't focused on just one form of media. We want to focus on the whole digital content industry. Mm -hmm. So. You guys provide services such as uh, maybe live stream videos, music, uh, video, just simple video lo loggings, maybe blogging, all that kind of media related content? We hope that eventually uh, developers will create those platforms on top of Content Box. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, what, one of the things that we're building actually is uh, a turnkey solution. Mm -hmm. So, we, we hope that content creators, they'll be able to easily build their own content platform. So, mm -hmm. are you familiar with WordPress? Oh, yes, uh, yes. For, for bloggers? Yes. It's something like that, right? You may not have a tech background, but mm -hmm. I can create my own web page. Oh, yes, of course. So we're trying to create a solution like that as well. So that way, everybody will be able to share the content in our ecosystem. So do you have a token economy set out for your platform? Yes. So we have something called uh, Box Tokens. Mm -hmm. uh, it's an ERC-20 token. Mm -hmm. We've already um, finished our presale, mm -hmm. And eventually, this will be the token that drives our ecosystem. Mm -hmm. You can use it to donate, uh, earn rewards. Everything will be based off of the box token. Mm -hmm. So do you have any local developments here in Korea? Right now, we have one person who's uh, primarily focused on business development. Mm -hmm. And he will be helping out with uh, our blockchain project going forward. We want him to be our spokesman in <laughs> Korea. <laughs> so when, do you launch, when is the product launch due? 
So we already have our CastBox application, and that's already out there. As I mentioned, it already has 16 million users, mm -hmm. and we're slowly rolling out features for blockchain. Mm -hmm. So right now, uh, at the beginning of June, we already launched our crypto wallet. Uh -huh. So you can trade e uh, ETH or Box directly within the application. Mm -hmm. I think we're one of the first mainstream apps to you know combine crypto wallets with our uh, with our application itself. Yes. And then going forward, we're going to add things like the donation feature or users listening, and then they can earn box tokens. Sure. These are all features we'll be rolling out in the next couple of months. Mm -hmm. So since you're in the blockchain industry and you're indeed in a media-related company, uh, how do you view the role of media in the blockchain industry? Because there's a lot of fuss going on in the crypto world. <laughs> I think that there's a lot of misconceptions, and I also think that, you know, um, Maybe some of the ICOs in the past, uh, uh, they were based off of just a white paper. So mm -hmm. um, people may have thought that there was something kind of like a scam going on. <laughs> you know, a lot of things may not have been that trustworthy. Yes. So I think one of the trends going forward you'll start seeing is that there's a lot more reverse ICOs. Mm -hmm. So uh, companies that already have a product and mm -hmm. they're including blockchain onto it. Because once you already have a product, you ha have a much easier way to implement this yes. blockchain technology. I think once the media sees the real world applications, they'll be much more open to blockchain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you guys are indeed pursuing reverse ICO, is it? Uh, you can think of it like that, yeah. So how does your sale plan go? So for our pre-sale, um, it was a private pre-sale. Uh, we focused on uh, institutional investors because mm -hmm. there's a lot of regulatory issues. Yes. Uh, we hit our soft cap in about a month, and then we hit our hard cap in a little bit of a month, uh, mm -hmm. in a little less than a month afterwards. Mm -hmm. So we had a very smooth token sale, <laughs> and that's why we're not doing a public ICO because oh, okay. we already, you know, raised all the money that we need. <laughs> I mean, hope to see Content Box, you know, expand through, I mean, into Korea as well. Do you have any last comments for our audience? Uh, I want to let everybody know that we're really here to do something. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we really have a chance to change the digital content industry, and I, I think it's very exciting for us because, you know, for the mentions I mentioned, uh, for the reasons I mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. we uh, we really want to make the ecosystem better. That's mm -hmm. that's our goal. Uh, thank you so much for a great interview, ladies and gentlemen. That was Mr. Jang, the CFO of Content Box.